my favorite girls, Pastor Cheryl gets so upset with me. <laughs> I mean, we're all your favorites, right? That's what I say. Yeah. yeah so but really, I think everyone's me. my I favorite. I think really it's me, though. Yeah. I mean, well, I'm happy you're here. Cool. I'm happy to be we here. We unintentionally coordinated with our clothes. I've I, got some orange in my shirt. I know you're looking great today. Yeah, so we came in and like half the worship team is all looking folly, like those tones, orange, brown. It's a brisk fall day today. You know what? Do you remember September ever being this chilly? No. I'm like, it's almost uh, nighttime and, and it's like frosty and I feel like pulling out everything winter. I got one of those space heaters that you just turn on and it heats your whole room. <laughs> I know. I actually went out this morning and had frost all over my See? garden. That's I was crazy. Like, no! <laughs> you, we were talking about gardens. Do you have any vegetables in your garden? I do. I have a lot of herbs this year because my dogs ate my herb garden last year. So I had to replant oh them. My gosh. <laughs> but we have some tomatoes. We got some peppers, uh, a couple cauliflowers, nothing too fancy. So do you have to harv harvest these quick before like winter? Some things like kale do really well with okay. the frost, but you don't really want your tomatoes to get frosted. So. I mean, I'm just praying. Maybe I'll go put like a sleeping blanket or something ah. over top. <laughs> I'm waiting so I can pull out my Christmas music. I'm one of those people like Christmas music is happening all year round sometimes, but I'll do it secretly yeah. so that other people don't get annoyed. I, I would be one of those annoyed people. You'd be one of I'm those annoyed people. I'm a bit of a Scrooge. People. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> you, <laughs> anyway. Do, you do. So we're going to get to the real content soon, but... <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, what, what was I going to Oh, it slipped away now. Oh. Oh, you actually do really fun things with holidays. You like mm -hmm. to put a fun twist on them. So do you want to tell people, like, if it's Thanksgiving or Easter where people traditionally will do something, the Sloan household does something different, right? Yeah, we do, like, Cowboy Christmas. So we'll do, like, chili and just fun activities for the kids. Or on Thanksgiving, we... Um, did like a taco theme and had a pinata That's for the kids. Oh, so fun. You know, I don't know. I'm kind of traditional Christmas dinner is kind of boring to us. Yeah. And I think when you have like both sides of the family and you're getting turkey, you know, a few yes. times, it's nice it's to do true. something different, right? It's true. I love your creativity there. Well, welcome everybody. If you're just joining online, I'll be scrolling through YouTube today. Miss Jen has Facebook. Oh, yeah. So if you guys just want to say a hello and good morning, we do have. So we'll do some announcements today, but we also have some really, really good giveaways. Got oh, hosting yeah. as presents by Bill Johnson. We have some love languages for teens. Amazing. Have you Amazing. read that? You've got a couple teens in your house. I do. Just one right now. Just one. Yep. Just one. <laughs> don't, don't, they're not going to grow up too fast, don't right? Don't rush us, okay? Okay, okay. All right, so if you are watching for the first time, we always like to just say this because um, we have a Connect card on our website. If you're watching virtually, um, you can fill out that card right on the front page of our website, and that will take you to a page so we can connect with you in the week and then maybe send you a little gift in the mail. Yeah, that would be awesome. And we are, are still accepting giving. Lots of different ways giving, to do and that. We've actually had testimonies of how giving has been consistent all throughout. Yeah, and pandemic. how it's really blessed people during COVID yeah. to give. So you can do that through our website. Uh, we have PayPal, or you can do an e-transfer. We have a new email um, for the e-transfer, and it's giving at impactlondon.ca. And the password there is giving. You can see it up on the screen. Um, or you can do the old-fashioned way, mail in a check. Um, or you can uh, call the office and Zach will come pick it up. Call Jen's husband. Call him. He call loves to do that kind him. of stuff. He's great. He, he, we get, yeah. He is the best. You never know when you pick up the phone what kind of phone call it's going to be. There, it's like a wide range. It could be for the food bank. It could be for a small group. Sign me up for church. So... It's great. Okay, I actually want to do our first giveaway this morning. I know it's a little bit early. I have five viewers. How many do you have on Facebook right now? Um, it looks like I've got a few. I've got Lauren Weedo's on, Sharon Bruder, Chantel. Good morning. That's lovely. Yeah. Okay, so something started up this week. Do we know what started up this week for Impact Church? Am I supposed to tell everybody? Yeah, tell everybody. Small Jen. groups. <laughs> Woo! Small groups, such a big deal. So those, uh, we took a couple of uh, breaks. Wow, look at these gentlemen. So we've got name tags. Whoa, get out. <laughs> so if you come into the building and uh, you have a question or you're a little bit new and uh, you want to find somebody with this name tag, 
And we can help you with any question that you might have. And if we don't have the answer, we'll find someone who has the answer for oh, you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so I was, what was I talking about? Small groups. Small they groups. started this week. So, hosting is presence. If you're online, can you tell me when Pastor Carl's breakfast group meets? Where when? and what time? I want to know. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, so we had a whole bunch of groups start up this week. Some of them are in person. Some of them are on Zoom. It could be unclear. But we do have uh, an email that goes out every Monday, which I'm going to talk about more later yeah. um, with all of the information needed. Yep. And some of them are both. I think we've been doing a really yes. great job, uh, including those people who can't make it into the building or um, don't feel safe right now. Yes. So you guys are doing an excellent job making sure that we've got some Zoom platforms for those groups. And we're also doing some in-house meetings. So that's yeah. awesome. Well, you know, people, we have a lot of people who live outside of the city too. So Zoom is great that way because, yeah. uh, you know, you don't have to drive 40 minutes in. And I'm sure in the wintertime, it's going to be great too. You just zoom in. Z what do you <laughs> zoom, zoom. <laughs> zoom, zoom. Hey, speaking of zooming in and talking about small groups, what's happening this Tuesday? This Tuesday, our women's group is meeting. So 730, uh, we're doing that via Zoom right now. Um, and it's every other Tuesday night. And it's just a bunch of women getting together, talking about all things that have to do with women. And it's been awesome. It's been so, so good. We've been talking about a wide range of topics. And I just love listening to people's stories and testimonies yes. and honestly really powerful. And I've learned so much just sitting and listening uh, to these other women. So Yeah, it's good because you'll read an article and at the end of every article is questions kind of, and it opens it up like, what do you think? What's your story? How can you relate? And so that's great. The yeah. great thing about small group is it invites people in to kind of share their story and you get to know them better. So yeah, you guys true. are meeting this Tuesday. Yep. And then... Uh, do you have any answers yet for when? Does anybody know when Pastor Carl's breakfast group meets and where? Ooh, I do. I have. Who's got Sha it? Chantel. Thursday mornings, 7 a.m. Girl. Get it, girl. She's in the house. Come on. You'll be getting Hosting His Presence by Bill Johnson. Woo. It's a really, really good book. Truth. Um, okay, so youth group. Youth group has also started back up. And we have been doing youth half Zoom, half in person. Mm -hmm. I think there's something about gathering together that the youth miss, you know, safely. True. And um, and so we had it this past, um, this past Wednesday. And it's so good to see familiar faces. Like, I was surprised because not all of the youth had signed up yet. And when they walked up the stairs... I was like, oh my gosh. And then we had some join in on Zoom online, like Luca. I was so excited yes, to see Devante, yes. who's, Devante, who's out of town usually. So that was really, really nice. Mm -hmm. Men's group, do you want to tell them? Yeah, men's group. So we do have an Impact Men's group. They're meeting once a month. And their next meeting is this coming Saturday, the 26th. Uh, so 9 o'clock here at the church until about 10.15. Yep. And uh, bring your own breakfast, coffee, tea, whatever you like to do for breakfast. And uh, it'll be a good time. It will be a yeah. good time. So um, just speaking about small groups, um, we do have a little video, just a tutorial video, but Zach wanted me to mention that um, every Monday in the morning, we have an email that goes out, which includes all of the um, small groups that are happening that week and all of their links. Mm -hmm. And so um, if you guys had lost the link, right there you can see that red button, it says Zoom link. And so that actually happens every week, I know I said that. But some of them also have, I think, notes. They have um, like discussion form and then articles for your women's group. If you're mm -hmm. like, man, I lost all my articles for my women's group or which one is this week, you can find that in your Monday email. Mm -hmm. Look, I and love it. It's literally highlighting every Zoom link. I so know, YA right? Conversations is on. Hey, there's the men's group. I mean, let's give a shout out to our media team. How awesome are Miss they? Miss Sue, thank you so much. Yeah, I, you're the bomb. I came to her on Friday. I was like, Sue, can you do like a scroll through your email video shoot? And she made it happen. So she's the best. If you guys aren't receiving those Monday emails and you'd like to, you can just give the office a call or uh, email us because we want to get you on that uh, list for sure and check your junk mail because sometimes it may Thank go you. in there and um yeah just call the office and if you have a new email address and That's like madeline said you wanted wanted those sent to that just call in the office or fire them an email and they'll make sure that happens for you i love it yeah so sunday services 
uh, we've been going through a series called Move, Move, all about the book of Mark. And it's been pretty good, hey? Haven't you been enjoying the series I, of Mark? Yeah. Last week, we had a really special guest in the building. Joshua Mills was here yeah. uh, promoting his new book that's actually not even out yet. But um, he Two did more get weeks, some, I think. Yeah, he did get copies rushed here, um, and he was able to uh, hand some of those out for a giveaway, mm -hmm. and it was just really good. He was talking about the book of Mark and yeah. um, also tying that into his new book, Power Portal. So stay tuned for that. Check out... Uh, yeah, He's, yeah. I think Joshua Mills too has an Instagram page, uh, just International Gory Ministry. So it was really good to have um, him in the house last week. Yeah, and um, so the pastors are away this week, but Zach will be preaching. So I th yeah, week four of the Book of Mark. It'll be good. Mm -hmm. And then oh, I should have brought one. Can somebody from the lobby maybe bring me a mask from the board? Somebody from the lobby. Somebody from the lobby. <laughs> Somebody from the lobby. I think Kanisha's all over. But we've had uh, impact masks made. Yes. And so there have actually been some people who are like, I want to buy a mask. How do I buy a mask? And so we've actually ordered some for you to purchase for only $5. Mm -hmm. And, um, oh, I mean, we have our old ones. Do you want to yep. show them the old one? Sure. Just a standard black mask. They came, they were a little bit thin, these first ones, and, um, but really breathable. Two notches. Look at that, that side. Look at our logo on the side there. But thank you, Kanisha. So the new ones um, are similar, but not exactly. Do you want to maybe hold that up, Jen? They're a little bit thicker, and then they say impact on the side, on the bottom there. And it's actually made for bigger faces as well, so, but if you want to, we got some in for you. So $5 if you'd like, if you'd like to purchase them. Yeah. So we're going to skip the, we've got breaking news next. A lot of breaking news. Yeah. I think we have this fun video we do for breaking news. Boom. Boo, boo. Boom. <laughs> um, if you're on YouTube, I'd love to see a good morning from you. Um, just so I know who's joining in online. But Jen, we have a bunch, a bunch of breaking news. You want to tell us whose birthdays it is this okay. week? Big time. Big time. Big time birthdays this week here at Impact Church. So last week was Mama Barb Zimmer on Wednesday. She's turned 29. That's right. Yep. And uh, Paul Mongaroo uh, also was on Thursday last That's week. That's right. So, yeah. And then today... I don't know if he's in the building. I don't think he is. But it's Mr. Is. Wayne, Wayne Zimmer. Zimmer. <laughs> His birthday's today. Yeah. And it's actually a really, really big one. So, if you guys... I don't know if you're, if you're friends with him mm -hmm. on Facebook or you have his phone number, email. Maybe just give him a shout out and say happy birthday. Give him some birthday love. He's a big blessing. I oh just... Oh, my goodness. Like, yeah. if you need anything, Wayne is always ready to serve. And he's... He's made miracles happen. I, he's put some connectives on. I know that's a team thing too, um, but he's just really, really a big gift. Yeah, he is. He is. Nicole Holmes is celebrating a birthday tomorrow. So happy birthday to Nicole. Uh, we have Joanne and Cheryl. Uh, they're, Sullivan, yep. Yep, they're sharing a birthday on Tuesday. Yep. And a really special birthday this coming Wednesday. Madeline! Woo! Woo-woo! I'm yeah. actually leading to our next breaking news. Uh, Nadia and Brandon's wedding are on Friday, so it'll Come actually on. be a rehearsal dinner on, on Wednesday on my birthday. So I'll how be fun with, is that? I'll be with all my friends. That's awesome, right? Yeah. And how exciting that they're getting married! Isn't it great? I, like I know the Keeners; they've been in a part of the house for a very long time. Yeah, like Brian Keener and everything. So yeah. to see one of them grow up, um, I know you know a lot of people in the church have seen him grow up, and he's getting married. I know, so exciting, so exciting. So another thing that we started up this week was something called Move Days. So just going along with our series, and actually we have sold our building and we are moving in spring of 2021. We've created these Move Days where we can hands-on actively um, move. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so get ready to move. You get ready to move. Yeah. yeah. So they're just like these one hour projects, but we actually have some pictures from um, 
our chair day that we did, Thursdays at 1.30. Uh, that's what we did this Thursday, is we brought all of the chairs, folding chairs from upstairs, downstairs, and we actually had um, two lovely people help us. Miss Esther and Brian, they were, did such a Come great on. job. They came in and helped us do some heavy lifting. So um, this Thursday will be another um, move... We're, we're going to be doing an hour project. Mm -hmm. Probably not as much heavy lifting as last time. <laughs> but I think the loading dock might have to be tackled. And there's some other things just in preparation for moving that we can pack away. Um, but we'll continue to do these move days Thursdays at 1.30. So if you guys feel comfortable, you're totally welcome to come in. You know, masks, sanitize. We did all that. Yeah. And then... And then we had actually prayed for our move building. So it's practical, you know, blessing, yep. and then just praying as well, blessing our transition. For sure. For sure. All right. Do you, uh, testimony time? Testimony time. Yeah. <laughs> so Stefan has been actually, Stefan, ministering to the homeless. So he just started with going out with water bottles. And uh, anyways, uh, he does it every day at 11 a.m. and 2 p.m., and he has actually made some connections all the way from Toronto. And so last Monday, um, he actually had gone to Toronto and they had 10 boxes, Jen, of Columbia jackets. How winter amazing. and fall, kind of, um, but just to bless him and so that he can go and hand them out. That's awesome. Isn't that great? Because it is, is getting so awesome. really chilly. Look like, at that. We actually have some pictures. So we had just gone through them and organized, you know, small, medium, large. Yeah. And then they had also given us some boots and stuff as well. Look at all those boots because it can get really cold in the winter and, yeah. you know, if people aren't able to afford. So just to bless the community. And Stefan's actually asked um, if you guys want to bring in any blankets because it's getting cold outside or if you have any jackets or boots i mean you can bring them here and then we usually organize them and then he's gone out he went out last night gave away all of the current blankets that he has and then i think he had gotten some more from somewhere but then also sent them out mm -hmm. um is going to be sending them out so that's just really powerful he's, he said yeah. he started with water bottles stuff and you're incredible you're incredible isn't that amazing that's amazing I love that. And I love that we're getting people involved from Toronto as well. It's not just, you know, this. this. It, it, yeah. It feels like it's getting bigger and bigger. I yeah. mean, and connections are, um, they're good because they put you in contact with people that you might never be in contact with. Like this guy in Toronto um, somehow contacted Columbia. And now I think in, every year or a couple times a year, they will say, hey, we have all these extra jackets that we have come not on. yet sold or there's a surplus. If you can come and get them, that's what they said to Stephen. If you can come and get them, they're yours. And so actually, Father Donald, who comes to Rayma here, yep. the seniors group, um, he volunteered his time on Monday and uh, drove down with Stefan. Huge. Isn't that That's great? That's awesome. That is awesome. What a church we go to. Hey? Isn't it great? I love it. So I don't know, Sue, did I have a picture of milk mats as well? Yeah, so these milk mats here, they're, they're uh, really, really great. Uh, they're made out of a bunch of milk bags so if you have milk bags as well um you can bring those on in and if we have a crafty person like that's either in the building or online to make these mats these are actually really good for people who um might be sleeping uh you know on the streets or wherever because uh they don't stefan was saying that they they're cushiony they're easy to wrap up and they actually don't get any bed, bed bugs or anything like that amazing isn't that great? Yeah, that's that's awesome. a really practical way that you yeah. can help out. Um, and even if you're crafty or whatever. But there's a bunch of different ways you can help out. So bring in donations, coats, anything like that. Yeah. So what else who do, do we have? have who do we have online? I haven't said good morning to anybody online. Jeremy Wright, bring Jeremy it. Jeremy Wright. Bringing it, bringing it. Thank you. Jeremy is in the you house. You are the best, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys want to volunteer or anything, um, you can call the office. We have multiple volunteer opportunities. It can be mm -hmm. online or in-house. We have options yep. for you. Absolutely. So. Yeah. Okay. I see move. Hashtag I see move. I see move. <laughs> so if you have you, you, you like the book of Mark, yeah? Sure. I, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I do. <laughs> That sounded so bad. No, no but I do. I, to be honest, I, I haven't actually been reading the book of Mark. I'm going to be that person that's being 
honest. You know but what? you know what? Jesus still loves me. Jesus still loves you, He Jen. does. And you're following uh, the sermon series, right? Yeah, I am. So you're catching all the good nuggets. You know what? I am. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys are reading the book of Mark and you, something sticks out to you, um, or you're going out and you're moving... Um, doing however you're helping people out you guys can take a picture and post it on our sh- social media and just yeah. say hey i see i see move impact church move yeah um just so we know what's going on show us you're moving show us you're moving yeah we've got henry this week henry did uh, sue did henry give a video in yeah let's roll that video Years ago, I felt stuck and I thought I couldn't move any further. And the same thing was happening in, in Mark chapter 6, verse 3. It talks about how the, when Jesus went to his hometown, the people saw him and they're like, we grew up with this guy. What's up with this guy? How does he know wisdom? And, and then they, they said that we know him, even though the things we see and hear, because we know him, we're not going to believe. And... They, the little they knew about him caused them to be stuck. And then the message translation actually says that they stumbled and they sprawled and they couldn't get any further. So the key to getting further and to moving ahead is knowing who Jesus really is and what he's like and that he loves us unconditionally. And that's what set me free and caused me to move is when I realized that God loved me unconditionally and I got set free. And Galatians talks about that faith works by love. And when I understood and got a revelation of love uh faith rose up and things started to move that is such a check <laughs> i like what he said is that love sets him free to move come on i think people Big. try and do it the other way around i know I, I feel like people maybe sometimes try and move and, and, and thinking that that will uh you know make them lovable or you know works performance yeah. but it's actually the other way around yeah, where you just good. believe and receive that jesus loved you and died for all your sins and that leaves you just free to be yeah who he made you to be and that love is so unconditional yeah i love so it good. thanks henry for that <laughs> um so shout out to if you are a new guest and you're watching online or you're in house we just want to say welcome 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 we're happy you're here um but we've created an online guest card for you guys um so that you can fill out and we can connect with you in the week send you a little gift in the mail but if you're in house and you received one of those little gucci bags as we call them <laughs> They've got some goodies in them. If you want to fill that card out, and then we have a bucket at the back of the room, um, if you want to drop it in there on your way out. Yeah. Because we want to connect with you. (laughs) Sometimes it can be redundant, but it's really important because I I feel like sometimes there will be like that, you know, that one new person that's watching. Yeah. Or even online, if you're watching online and you're you're new, just click that uh, connect card online Mm because we really do want to connect with you. And if you guys want to like and share this post, because that is also, you know, just an evangelism tool to get it out there Mm -hmm. um, so that everybody can watch. Absolutely. So we're going to go through the giving one more time. Uh, You can go on our website. uh, I think Sue just pulled that up. Ways to give in person, uh, online and e-transfer. The new email for our e-transfer is giving at impactlondon.ca. And the password there is giving. Isn't that great? Yeah. So, Jenny, you are a homeschool mama. I am a homeschool mom. I just wanted to know what the most popular question that you get is in regards to teaching kids at home or just teaching kids in general. Uh, if you don't what do you sharing? do? How do you do that? Yeah. Um, it's pretty easy. i have really great great. kids but i do get a lot of people who ask me what curriculum i use um you know where can i find what the ministry of education says i need to do and and um all of that so kelly's done an excellent job with the uh impact kid emails that are going out she's been putting Mm -hmm. links uh for some parents who are wondering about that um but also shout out to uh, all the families, all the impact kids, yeah. all the youth, even some of the young adults who have gone back to school this week. Um, we're praying for you. Be blessed. This is going to be the best year yet. Yes, it is. To those new families who are homeschooling, those parents, you got this. You can do this. And to all the teachers who are back at school making school safe for the kids, we just want to say thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that good? Yeah. So we've got the five long, love, lo, 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 love languages of teenagers. Yeah. So if you're a parent in the house, um, 
or even online, you want to shout out when Pastor Carl's group is, breakfast group is, and where it is. Mm -hmm. We started small groups up this past week. Yeah, we did. You can tell me online or in-house. Does anybody know? Pastor Carl's breakfast group. Sherry? Thursday mornings, and where is it? It's here, and yeah. uh, do we have breakfast provided, or is it bring your own? Bring your own breakfast. Look at that. Sherry, come hey, on. Sherry's got it. She I, totally has it. Yeah. So that's happening this, this uh, coming week. If you guys haven't signed up for a small group yet, um, you guys can do so through our website. Get mm -hmm. plugged in. Um, we have a bunch of different stuff. Women's group is actually meeting this Thursday. So it's one Tuesday. week on, one week off. This is the on week. Yep. Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday at 7.30 on it's, Zoom. Yeah, not 7. It's 7.30. 7.30. And it's not too late to join. We're going through some blogs and, um, you know, d please don't feel like you've, oh, I've missed so many weeks. And, yeah. you know, you can join in any time. So please do. So do you have that video again, just going through the email, um, the Monday email? So some of you have been asking, you know, I can't find my Zoom link. I forget the instructions. I might have some articles from the women's group. I can't find those. There's an email that actually goes out every Monday with all of that information, the exact same information if you lost it or couldn't find it. And um, it will tell you, you know, if your group's online, if it's in person, but have no fear. Every Monday it goes out if you're looking for it. Right, Zach? Amen. <laughs> and, and just check your junk mail because it might also be in there. And if you don't receive them, call the office, email the office. We want to get you connected in a group and also just what's going on in the house. Yeah, that's good. And the, the, there's a men's group too that actually meets uh, once a month. So this coming sat next Saturday, the 26th, I believe, mm -hmm. they're going to be meeting here. Again, it's bring your own breakfast, but from 9 a.m. to 10, 15, mm -hmm. um, you, you want to come join in in person. I think that one's only in person. Uh, yeah. Zach, is the men's group only in person, or are we doing Zoom too? Okay. <laughs> Uh, no answer. That's okay. But we've got, we're one minute out. And um, I think I just wanted to, we've got a lot of birthdays happening this coming mm -hmm. week too. It's Mr. Wayne Zimmer's birthday today. So if you want to give him a shout out. Um, but on Thursdays at 1.30, we are going to be doing these move days. And so um, this past Thursday, we actually had moved a bunch of folding chairs from upstairs, uh, downstairs on some dollies. Wow. I've um, never, I haven't done stairs in a long time. So that was quite a lot. <laughs> I was I, the next day I was physically exhausted but it was good yeah and so we actually had brought them down and we had a lovely couple Brian and Esther had helped us as well right here and so um, you guys can jump in it'll just be a one hour project so you're welcome to join us um, and then we prayed for our transition that's coming up so um, I do think it's 958, which means it's time to get our service rolling. We're going to do a fun countdown, but super happy you guys are all in the house yeah. uh, and then watching online as well. So it's going to be a good Sunday. Let's yeah. get to it. All right. All right.